beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the senses Hello, will circle it in vain it's really a senseless it's to work so hard from day, morning to so late at night, toiling to make to a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers, even while this meeting. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come to God's presence. It tells us let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38. Any time we are with God. And then we can commanded the prayer to the word of God. And, and then we are about listening to that. So, so I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. The so then, please hit on the last button if you have not done so. This helps me to comment so this one video about out there to where you want, to where everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. If you are new here, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button. Keep sharing this video. So a new and new here, and then get on to the notification to bell. And do us the favor of tapping on the word. You are blessed. I have blessed. Be blessed. Thank you. In my life, here and now, your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns, Lord. In my life. And now let your kingdom reign. Your kingdom reign. Sing in my life, oh God. In my life. Let me not live my life in a waste. Building empires that have no eternity. Your kingdom reign. In my life. Had me teach it again and again. Anna wanted a child, but her purpose of wanting a child was to end the mockery of Penina. Are we together now? The Bible says there were the two wives of Elkanah, and many times Penina would mock Hannah because she was barren. And Hannah went to God, but her motive was never aligned to the kingdom. She wanted to use her ability to give birth to prove that she was a woman indeed. And God said, it's not enough reason for me to give you a child. You may want a child. I cannot let you bring a destiny just to prove a point. What then happens when the point has been proven? Oh God, give me a jeep to shame my enemies. God said, it's too small a reason for me to bless you. Make me a millionaire to silence the mouth of wicked men. God says, it's still too small. A time came, Anna said, Lord, I realize I've been selfish. Here is a new proposal. You need a prophet. Can my womb birth that man child? And God said, deal, done. Once she prayed, once she prayed, and a prophet came. I'll tell you the reason why God does not do business with us. We use God, hear me please, the Holy Ghost is speaking. We use God as a ladder to come out of shame. To come out of pain to come out of inferiority lord i want anointing he says why he said my contemporaries need to know your hand is upon my life god says you are joking you will never never carry two grace lord i want to get married why because i i want to get out of the stigma of singleness god said my purpose for marriage is bigger than that lord i want to be a millionaire why there is a brother i need to prove wrong your life is too long to live just to prove a point and god says when i look at your life i don't see your obsession for my agenda there is nothing eternal in the motivations of your pursuit are we together 
I told God something. Anything you give me, and I'm saying it now, I don't care what it is. If you cannot find where you'll be glorified to it, may it never come to my life. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus is not a fool. He's not a stupid person. You don't come to him praying, rattling in tongues, whereas in your heart, God already knows that if I give this man one million, I will never get his attention again. Again. God has done it before. There are people he opened up doors for and he watched. His intention was to bless you more than that. But the little he gave, he kept watching. And right now our lives are Ichabod, the departure of the glory. Hallelujah. If there is any message I want you to get today, this is not a message for men of God. It's a message for those who want to be used mightily by God. There are so many things God wants to do with us. But you must get to that point of obsession where first, your love for God, please listen, listen, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, until your love for God supersedes your desires, you will never find the hand of God in your life. Lord, I hate poverty. And since I found out in the Bible that coming close to you will make me rich, I now come close to you as a means to an end. You will never be prosperous that way. Hallelujah. Listen, I speak especially to us the young people. Don't allow what is happening in society fool you. You are not the first to live your life. You are not the first to be blessed or to be prosperous or to pursue success. There is no true success outside of Christ. Not just going to church and trying to be nice. Seriousness. Sisters have challenged you. Don't marry anybody that is not serious with God. With traceable transformation. No matter what he tells you. He can have all the jeeps, all the whatever it is. But any man that has passion for the things of the Lord. You know, our society has a, a very insulting way of trivializing godliness. Right? No matter what else you have. If you don't have God, it's a waste. But our society has taken it the other way around. If you have God, no matter what else you don't have, they think you are not successful. This is how much he means to us. Why should I keep what people say? For they don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you mean to me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Listen, get to a point in your life where your entire desire is to see him lifted. If God makes you a millionaire businessman, you are a minister in business, not a Sunday Christian doing every other thing. Where when God empowers you, it is for his kingdom. Are we together? If God gives you intellectual prowess, it's for his kingdom. He gives you beauty for his kingdom. Thank you, sir. He gives you money, it's for his kingdom. He gives you influence, it's for his kingdom. Listen, if God knows you will not withhold his glory, he will not withhold his hand from you too. I am amazed. I am amazed to see the little that God has been able to do through my life. You know, when I see it, people send me all kinds of texts. Man of God, apostle of our generation. And I just look at the text and laugh. For you are God alone. 
from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God. I'm not interested in anything in this life that I cannot find how it will glorify God. If you cannot show me how it will glorify God, I'm not interested. I don't care what it is. You must get to that point where your life, you donate your life to be a promoter of his interest. Anywhere you get to, you find out, Lord, how are you going to be lifted here? He said, if I... If your life is committed to lifting me, there is nothing I will not give you. If your life is committed to lifting me, I will take you beyond every territorial background. Ah! It was, it was Nathaniel that said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Try donating your life to God and see the wonder he will make out of your life. My life is a wonder. My mom called, okay, well, she didn't call, but she sent me a text. Oh, by the way, my mom said she's praying for everyone and that your prayers will be answered throughout this fasting period. My mom is a very anointed woman. Anointed indeed. She's been following in the fasting. Praying also. She was listening to the message. I think it was yesterday's message and she was just weeping. And I told her, you've not seen anything yet. If you think you are a failure in life you succeeded in giving birth to me and that's enough reason to be a success forever koinonia come to a point tonight where jesus becomes the focal point the pivot of your life listen there is no such thing as church life and then real life you know people do that this is church they say look look when in rome behave like the romans do it's not in your bible you have to be careful. I'm a child of God anywhere. Right? So you pick up your phone and you put a, a gospel song. And when it is ringing in a business meeting, you quickly off it. So that it doesn't embarrass you because you want to be neutral. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men. Please hear me, Koinonia. If you are ashamed of me before men. He said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father my appetite and my addiction for God, I don't know what he did to me. I've been captured by a love I can't explain. Now you have me and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything I've ever known. Now I surrender this life is not my own. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong. Must get to that point that's the first thing i want you to learn come to a point where you are not just born again but you are addicted so you see a pretty lady like this and it's easy to believe that because she's fine my dear if your beauty if god cannot see how your beauty directly glorifies him is nonsense is useless as far as the agenda of god is concerned are we together everything not just your education. Everything that constitutes an advantage in your life must have a direct bearing. If you do this, I show you the secret of unbeatable greatness. God will bring you out of, bless you my dear, every storm and put you in a position of notoriety because he knows that your being there is for his namesake. Is God blessing us tonight? One of the things we are going to be crying as we round up this period, awesome period of fasting and prayer. I was talking to the Lord yesterday 
I said, Lord, look at what you have done with your child. So many people say all kinds of things. During my birthday, I was so honored last year. We had delegates from over 16 nations calling in to say, look, this is what your teachings are doing, changing people. That's what God can do when you believe him. When you really love God, you will not have time for pride and arrogance. It's not the issue of, I want to be, I'm stopping it. There is a revelation that threatens you to humility at all times. All times. It's a revelation. That's why I run away from all these kinds of things. Because I've seen the deceitfulness of man. He will celebrate you and stab you when you fall. People can clap you into death. So every time they clap, God says, remember you are an usher. Remember our prayer and fasting. And so you lead them. And say, there is one who is mightier than I. And I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to know that I am not here for myself. Listen, this is what Jesus said. I can of my own do nothing. The word of God speaking so helpless. I can of my own do nothing. Brothers and sisters, everything you see behind this small life that you see is a product of God's grace is the reward of addiction to the kingdom it's not so much my wisdom the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom right let the strong man not glory in his strength they say but let him that glory yet glory in this many years ago the Lord told me my only promise to you is my presence God never promised me a car he never promised me fame he never promised me crowd all he promised me was his presence and he has kept that promise if nothing else works in my life i cannot blame god the promise he made was his presence and moses said if your presence go not with us he said we will not depart from here for how shall they know that we are a separate people the presence of god is the mystery behind the magnificent things god is doing in and through this ministry and tonight, I'll share two more things and then we are going to pray. And say, Lord, I not only give you my heart, I give you my life. There is a big difference between giving God your heart and giving God your life. We used to sing a song, remember, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. Don't play it. It says, when, Abi, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me. Now, that song is not a good bargain for many people. Because they said, Lord, I gave you my lifetime. And I saw the way you shredded me into pieces. We have this idea that when we walk to, with God, we will be cheated. No. No. Godliness is profitable. Having the reward here in this life and in the life to come. Number two. The second thing that I want to challenge us is to have a passion for understanding. Please say after me, understanding. Those outside, are you with us? Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Understanding. The Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding tells you the dynamics on how a thing works. Listen. Ejimi's wife made this beautiful cake. I know the ingredients to make a cake, but I don't understand how it works. At least I know that you need flour, you need egg, you need uh, uh, all the other things. Are we together? But she understands how to work. If you want to make fried rice, I may know how to make fried rice, but I'm not sure I understand it. I know in that fried rice there should be rice. There should be liver. My friend is helping me. There should be liver. Carrots. Now listen. But do I know how much of liver? No. Do I know when to put the liver? No. If you give me all those ingredients, let me tell you what I'll do. I will mix everything at once and close it. And the next time I open that pot, I'm lifting it. I don't cook. I don't cook. It's not my ministry. That's the reason why I'm determined to be successful. 
because I know that when I'm successful, that lapse will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, but let, let's get back to our point. Understanding. Listen, we know many things, but we do not know how to combine them to be successful. You know there is a place of destiny helpers. You know there is a place of fasting and prayer. Are we together? You know there is a place of warfare. You know there is a place of giving and sacrifice. But do you know how to combine them to produce an unbeatable life? We need to pray for understanding. It's not everything that is just the blood of Jesus. It's not everything that is just prayer. For instance, finances is not just the issue of prayer. Prayer gives you wisdom. Finances is a covenant. It's an understanding. Right? He said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power, the anointing, the unction to prosper. There is such a thing. The Bible says, and I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. You know that what it takes to do ministry, there is a place for leadership and organization. There is a place for the anointing, right? There is a place for people's skills. There is a place for endurance and persistence. There is a place for, for um, competence in the world. But do you know how to combine them together? Many of us right now, our problem is not ignorance. Our problem is understanding of the operation of the systems of the kingdom. How to make things work is really revelation. Not that you are aware Knowing what God has said is not revelation. Knowing how to make it produce results in your life. Consistent results is understanding. Tell your neighbor, get understanding. This is what we have been doing. We've been praying and fasting. And we have been taking a thought, a dimension of the keys of the kingdom. Just approaching it. The place of power. The place of destiny help us. The place of favor. You must passionately pray and ask the Lord to give it to you as a personal revelation. Lord, show me. If you were to draw a pie chart for me, how much percentage of my life should be dedicated in building relationships? How many should be dedicated in the place of knowledge? How much should be dedicated in warfare? There are people who all they do in their life is to fight warfare. They fight warfare until they are frustrated. They hold night vigils every day. You see, they have stretched the truth beyond its limit of operation. The truths in the kingdom are dimensional. It only profits you when you apply the kingdom uh, within the confines of its relevance. That it is truth does not mean it's applicable anyhow. You must define the boundaries to which its application becomes relevant. Are we together? There is a place tithing and giving holes in kingdom wealth. But it's not just tithing and giving alone. Are we together now? Yeah. If all you do is tithe and give, favor will come. But you do not have wisdom. A house is not built by favor. Through wisdom, a house is built. And by understanding it is established. It said through knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasure. So we need to know how to combine the correct ingredients and you will make for an unbeatable life number three maybe i'll just say that and then i'll stop there number three i have emphasized it again and again the bible says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he listen there is the place of your mentality your mindset your paradigm Mindsets are conditionings. Mindsets are perspectives. Mindsets are opinions. Mindsets are constructions, planes, perspectives of judgment. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, there was an understanding, there was a, a mental state that Jesus was in. That's why he succeeded. And the Bible says, permit it to be in you in the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When God called Abraham, he was a man who was in a place called Ai of the Chaldeans. He was an idol worshiper. 
and based on his mindset and understanding there were certain things that were impossible and God needed to stretch his mind look at me please you can get my message pulling down strongholds I have seen as a leader as a man of God how many great people potentially have been limited because they cannot tear that mental barrier to give them space to be used by God scattered among us here are all kinds of people hallelujah please I need two people here where is promise where is Charles Charles protocol can you come please quickly hallelujah I want to use them as an example wherever he is if he's within reach let him come I want to use him as an example if your mindset does not change your life cannot move forward please this is not some psychology sociological reality unfortunately we come from backgrounds where there are conditionings over our minds there are people for instance who have been taught listen there are people who have been taught that you will never succeed you will never amount to anything you came from a background where everybody was a failure and that conditioning has been there. I am a failure. I don't expect to succeed. I don't expect things to work for me. Do you know the Bible says in Psalms, I think 78, 41 or so. It says they limited him in the wilderness. Hallelujah. I want to use these two gentlemen. Please don't be offended. I've used them again and again because they are great people. Where is Francis? Can you join him, please? Francis, your friend. Where is he? Come, 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 quickly. Appreciate him. Do you mind if I share your testimony again? <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spoke to you about this guy. He came to Zaria with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks and earrings. That's how he came into the city. Can you imagine? This is the assistant head of prayer department. <laughs> the prayer department. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Believe me, he was not a bad boy. He was a victim of an understanding. Because he probably grew up in an environment and where he was schooling before, the occult groups taught that if you were a capon, right, then they associated violence and rebellion with greatness. Listen, life is always proposing an ideology to you about a true definition of success and you must return to the word of god and re-edit your template your value system look at his life right now a testament of a transformed mind let me tell you a very funny story thank you sir this gentleman you mind if i share your testimony now let me tell you how he came to this ministry he saw a lady that he liked he was an occultist came all the way from another state listen oh he's very born again i can tell you born again and successful and wealthy as a matter of fact hallelujah he saw a lady one of my ladies and saw her and said ah you know all these occultic things and so on and so forth and as he followed her she gladly led him just keep coming he was like a sheep to the slaughter not knowing what was going to happen to him listen that's beauty used for the kingdom. I'm not saying you go to a beer parlor and tell somebody, follow me. God did not send you there. Let me balance it up front. Because I can't assume, in our generation today, you must explain everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened. It was you that brought him, right? Now, this guy came that night. He got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, transformed completely that night his friends gave him seven days to return back to his lifestyle seven days have become over six or seven years or thereabout never to return again he was so impacted he went and dragged this one and said just come are we together now i'm not sure this guy had an idea what was going to happen to him and he dragged him and brought him let me tell you what happens in this place you are first saved and the next mission is your mental transformation until your ideology is changed you are not really born again believe me when i tell you this 
see what God has made. They are serving in the body, doing great things for the kingdom. These are the guys responsible for your bosses. They have a direct... Did you know he could not speak Hausa? But he speaks Hausa right now because he had to learn it so that he will be effective as the, as the boss coordinator. Can you imagine that? That's passion for the kingdom. And I pray, guys, may God bless you. I love you with all my heart. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who is your life changing? From the time they came into your life, have their understandings changed? Now, you see, we, we, that you are well-meaning does not mean you are transformed. Separate being nice societally. I don't steal, I don't kill, I don't fornicate. It's not the same as transformation. Transformation is the process that makes you like Christ. And it is not a gift, it's a reward. You will labor to get into that state. Transformation requires admitting that something about your thinking is destroying your life. There are people who are born again, but they are greedy. There are people who are born again, but they are angry. I counsel a lot of people. And sometimes you see couples. I remember one couple, very interesting. Uh, I mean, and they had been married for a while, not just two years, five years. And they fought. They fought police had to come and stop them. So two of them said they were coming to report themselves. And they booked for counseling. Husband and wife. Two of them sat down. Madam, what's the problem? This man does not respect me. And she was just landing it. And the man kept quiet. When I finished, he said, Man of God, you are seeing what made me beat this woman. And the truth is, both of them love themselves. But everybody was coming with the idea of his territory. Somebody told that guy, When you beat your wife, she will respect you. Are you getting that information? He stored it in his pocket. Somebody told the lady, if you are weak to a man, he will disrespect you. If he punches you, you roll your hand and punch him back. So listen, all of them are executing their ideologies. There are pastors who believe their thinking is that if you want to be rich, be a pastor. Because you will receive prophets, offering, etc. You see that? So their ideology led them to fast for 40 days. They created names. They created protocol. Are we together now? Very important. Listen. Let this mind that I have labored and I still do with all my heart. I don't trust myself outside of the word of God. I don't even know what I can become. I started a project years ago. Not a project to become a preacher. Because when I contrasted the word of God to my mindset, I was, I was messed up in almost everything. My understanding of leadership, my understanding of ministry, my understanding of almost everything. The pastors that trained me did not teach me prosperity was a blessing from God. They sang songs like, take the world and give me Jesus. No, no, I won't sing that song at all. I, my heart is to God, but I realize that prosperity is an important tool in kingdom building. And I will never mislead you. I'm not apologetic about it. Poverty and prosperity, which one is better? Don't let a poor man who has never been blessed carry his stumbling block and come to you and tell you, see how simple my life is. You are, if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. If you are saved, you are saved for yourself. Only prosperity is shareable. That's why Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. The gospel is free, but the means to carry it to the lost is not free. Are we together now? Yeah. Your mindset. Something about your village. Something about the thinking, your upbringing. There are ladies here, for instance, our mothers, though well-meaning and sincere, have taught us that when you want to get money from a man, do A, B, C. Men are very stupid people. This is how to collect money from them. You are born again, you pray in tongues, but that mindset is still in you. Are we together? There are people who still do what I call traditional Christianity. They love God, but when the going gets tough, they call you and say, come home. And you know what that means. Come home means revisit your roots. And you go back and they give you your husband in a bottle. They carve clear and put it inside and say, for as long as you are holding this bottle, this is your husband. Do with him as you please. I have counseled people who brought charms. I mean, they removed it and said, man of God, I won't lie to you. This is it. I said, what is this for? Say for money. And I said, but you don't look rich. Meaning it's not working. <laughs> oh, or this one is for 
um, I, I remember counseling some ladies. Now, this is not to condemn you. True story. They may even be here. Don't feel offended. Some ladies who said they, they went, was it Zaria City to collect something? True story. Something like a powder or something. You, you rub it. I don't know if it's the, you rub it or bath with it. And any man that sees you, no matter what is, except he's really born again, indeed, with a track record in the spirit, otherwise he will follow you like a sheep. And I looked at them. I said, you mean this is what you are doing to yourself? Something in your mind is limiting your destiny right now. Hallelujah. I began a project to change my mind. There were some things I never saw growing up. I knew that if I needed to be a global leader, there was a thinking. Africa teaches us to be mediocre and failures. Our mentality in Africa is comparing with our, ourselves with ourselves. They say, I'm a family of seven people. And right now, I'm the first person to buy a Pujo. And we keep making noise over it. Whereas God is saying, there are great things I want to do with you. Please, that mindset must die tonight. There are even territories associated with certain levels of mediocrity. Have you heard people say that? Men from this place, they are irresponsible. Women from this place, they are, uh, what, they, are, they are immoral. You can change that in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that the people from, from my village, the core people in the village, I grew up knowing that they used to drink. Drink seriously. Why? I don't know. But I reject that testimony. Count me out. I'm not part of it. Are we together now? Don't say because I grew up seeing it happen. You grew up seeing people oppress people to be blessed. But you're going to change and say no. My mind has changed. My mind has changed. Based on the power of the word of God. I found out that Jesus was not the Jesus that was taught in the Bible. The Jesus pastors preached. As a wicked, cruel God out to kill and destroy people. But my Bible says it is the thief that comes to steal and kill and to destroy. I never give up on people. No matter what has happened. Because the Bible says there is hope for a tree. He said at the scent of water. Never give up on people. We are going to pray. But I'm challenging us. Especially with the young people. There is a mindset we must change. And the Bible says, by the truth. By the truth. Something about your conditioning will make you fail in life if you don't change it. Something about your understanding may make you a bad father, a bad mother. That you are well-meaning is not enough. You must have the mind of Christ. Please lay your hands on your head. And say, in spite of the mindset of my culture, in spite of my background, in spite of the limitations of Nigeria and my territory, I change my mindset. I declare that I come from a kingdom that is foreign to this earth. And I refuse to be limited in the name of Jesus. Years ago, when God was showing me the visions of the things that are happening today, I saw these things and they were great. And brothers and sisters, half of this have not even come to pass. What you see now is child's play. It's just one step out of the cave. Hallelujah. And God showed me these things. But he was waiting for me to agree with him. Please come, Ejimi. Listen. This is God saying, Ejimi, see how far he said, as far as your eyes can see. But Ejimi is standing. Oh, I come from a background. I come from Ijebode. There is a limitation. There are all kinds of things. And God is saying, I can do so much with you. I can smash that barrier. You say, Lord, I went to school at 25. When my colleagues are doing masters, that's when I'm passing jam. And God is saying, no. Abraham started his ministry almost 75 years old. Are we together? Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mentality. Change your understanding. I made up my mind. Listen. I made up my mind that there are things Africa will never limit in my life. 
there are things in my mind and beyond the spheres of this place it's not pride it's the truth i didn't get it just by prayer he said i daniel understood by books there is a labor of knowledge i've studied the largest churches in every continent study them carefully Forbes list of billionaires I've studied all of them one by one it's not just prayer please I'm telling you you must agree that something you know is limiting you when it was time to set up Covenant University Bishop Oyeniko sent delegates to comprehensively study Cambridge Yale Harvard right and, and which Oxford I think these four or five top universities and then he now added a kingdom dimension to their limitation and said this becomes a structure of our, our university koinonia is patterned after an understanding there is somewhere we are going we have seen that it's possible to combine the anointing with excellence and we are striving to increase that you you should not choose one and leave the other God wants to do great things with you and today he's asking you do you believe I used to say it when we used to meet um, on the floor that time we did not even have math on the floor that we are all going to be great in this life and the beautiful part is that we we'll all know ourselves people of God there is more that God wants to do say there is more that God can do with my life I refuse to be a local champion say it I refuse to be a local champion a Jimmy's wife had been making cakes long before she got married she's been making cakes but she made up her mind that she wanted to be world-class and I got to find out that all her time in Lagos she had dedicated it this an economist but because this was the area of her passion she started taking certifications UK based certifications and all kinds of certifications to be extraordinary the fruit of it is what we are seeing today who is ready to pay you for your transformation have you been so developed that you become priceless this can't be it God is so much bigger than this prophesy to yourself this can't be it this can't be it he is so much bigger than this so he's calling you deeper that's what he's saying deeper deeper calling you deeper deeper it's calling you deeper you know why we are not celebrating koinonia now my concept of birthdays is not that you were born is that you are living out the purpose for being born I am personally convinced that nobody has a right to celebrate birthday until you know why you are on earth and your life is experientially blessing people. A day will come we'll make noise about Koinonia when we build the schools. Remember I told you about our schools. My goodness, bring your children to our schools. Yes, we are adding three extra courses. Spiritual growth, a course called Koinonia and financial intelligence. Every student, they will learn it from primary school hallelujah yes part of spiritual growth will introduce a program called honesty morality and conscience we have a society that numbs conscience you kill somebody and say it does not matter the end justifies the means no sir a christian the process to the result is as important as the result when we launch the tv stations and we are doing great things we can turn and then pat our back now we we'll lie to ourselves because compared to where God is taking us it's a step out of the cave people are already clapping and I told God block my ears in Jesus name block my ears 
You need to learn to challenge yourself. Raise standards. Don't say I'm better than somebody. No, that's a foolish way of progress. The Bible says, and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. We used to sing a song when we were preparing for our crusade. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Listen, if you wanted me to cry, raise that song. That was the song that brought tears from my eyes. Because every time they raised the song, I saw nations. The Bible didn't say you are a village. It said you are a city. You may start from where you are, but don't die where you are. You started from Zaria. Oh, my father is a carpenter. My mother was frying a car. So what? The Bible says, ask for the nations and I will give you. I'm speaking to people here. We are going to pray. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands to see. Your eyes, as it rises or not. One more time. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen, you must challenge yourself to be exceptional. Listen, listen. Sandra just came in this evening. I was very touched when she came in. Something very remarkable happened. This lady you are seeing within three months has done three jobs. She works directly with the house of assembly. It's not about lobbying. It's the power of competence and the keys of the kingdom. It was the official car that brought her to Zaria. But people say there is no job. It depends on what your understanding is. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Don't let this country cheat you. People are shouting the dollar, the pound. Even those who have never seen it are already victims of it. Hallelujah. It was a humorous story. Please permit me to share. One of her former bosses where she was working started doing some funny things like wanting to sleep with her or something. And, and you, know, all, you know all these men that behave as if their heads are not correct. May God punish anyone that wants to destroy the destiny of anybody in the name of Jesus Christ. You are entitled to one wife and God designed it to be enough. Anything more than that, you need deliverance. Say amen. amen. If there's anybody, our fathers, mothers, who are planning another marriage in the name that is above all names, we cancel it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I just felt like pressing that one in so that we don't let it just pass like that. And listen, the moment... Thank you very much. She has an understanding that you cannot be disadvantaged. It's a mentality. As that one was trying to play all of that nonsense, another one came, born again, honorable member. And he looked at her in 24 hours. She got a new job, upgraded with salary and everything. Brothers and sisters, listen. This thing will work for you if you know how to work it. If, if you think what is happening, people are just talking. No, sir. I think it was Pastor Alpha when you started your PhD. They get, I mean, it was, it was challenging over scholarship and this. But you can see him coming here. He's doing his PhD. And he's on, I think you're on scholarship. He's on scholarship from University of Joss. And he's just enjoying life. See, i like you to say it must happen differently with me. Refuse that thing of, of, of the way it's happening to everybody. No, there is an anointing upon you. Remember. There is an anointing upon you. Please, we are going to rise up and we'll pray. We are rounding this up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changed. Status is changed. It's no more decline. No more decline. I'm on my way. To better day, sorry, the Lord is hearing you. My status is changing. It's no so more I'm on my way to better day. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. On my way. On my way.
There are three prayer points I'd like us to pray. Please, let's have the communion. We have to be very fast because I want to speak. There are destinies that must open up today. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Lord, a fresh passion for you. Above and beyond money, faith, ministry, business. Koinonia, lift your voice and pray. Lord, a fresh passion. A fresh passion. Shake a pack at a baba baba baba. Koinonia, pray. Shake a pack at a baba A fresh passion. You, O oh Lord, at my desire. I desire you more than my necessary food. Oh, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. Pray. Shaparaboso Pradesh Zikete Paradabadash In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Revelation chapter 5 Hallelujah Revelation 5 Please I'd like us to be sensitive The communion is a mystery Jesus said Except ye eat of my body and drink of my blood he said you cannot have my life the communion is a mystery we're going to do will be very very fast as soon as we do this our prayer request as instructed by god now we'll collect it in twofold but that's Maybe when we are praying, we'll be doing that so that we can have it. Ushers, please make sure you get ready. The ones that represent your challenges, according to Exodus 14, 14, I'd like you to pass it first because we are going to burn it right now. That's the instruction that the Lord gave, please. And then the ones that represent your testimonies, when you give that one, I'll ask you to forward that one and we'll pray on it here just like we do the miracle service. Please, ushers, quickly. Quickly, you have to be very fast. Our time is gone. While you're holding it, I'd like you to begin to pray and say the blood of Jesus is ending this captivity in my life forever. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. The Bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit for they are spiritually discerned. The Lord gave us an instruction. Please just pass it round. The one that represents challenges, pass it to the last person so that the ushers will receive it. Just the challenges, just the challenges. There are two requests. Your expectations, your challenges, pass the challenges very quickly. Hallelujah. Revelations 5 verse 12. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb. Not worthy is the king. Not worthy is Jesus. There is a dimension he used to purchase these things for us. And is that dimension as a lamb. The lamb that was what? Slain. It was on account of his being slain. On account of his blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive. He has received for us. Power. Riches. Wisdom. Strength. Honor. Glory. And blessing. Notice it did not say blessings. It says blessing. Now look up please. I want you to be sensitive. The blessing. Is an operation of the Holy Spirit upon a man's life. Please listen. The blessing is different from blessings. The blessing is an operation of the Holy Spirit. It's like an anointing. 
when it comes upon your life like a mantle, the assignment of the blessing is to compel creation to respond to you as though you were in the Garden of Eden. Please listen. When God made man, he blessed them. When the flood came, God blessed Noah. It was, it was um, Isaac that said, make me venison that I will eat, that my soul will rejoice, that I may bless you. What did he give Jacob? That when Esau came, he said, there's nothing left. How did he know it had left him? Listen, the blessing is transferable. You can carry it bodily. God opened my eyes to this revelation and it surprised me. Hallelujah. The blessing does three things. Number one, it attracts people, it attracts resources, and it attracts opportunities. Never forget this. The blessing on you mysteriously but undeniably begins to attract people. He said, all men seek for thee. That's what they told Jesus. All men seek for thee. The blessing can make your critics bless you. Although they are talking against you. The blessing can make people you do not know. He said your gates shall be continually open. To receive the forces of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And say Lord. As I partake of this communion. Every. Every pronouncement. Every cause of negativism over my life. The blessing will take it away today forever. Lift your voice and pray, please. Lift your voice and pray. The blessing is coming upon me. The blessing will change my life. The blessing will veto the limitations of my background. And take me to another dimension. Please pray. Be a believer. It doesn't take time. It takes the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bless the communion. This is ordinary wine and wafers. But... The Bible says, is this not the cup of the blessing? The cup of the blessing. There is a mystery. It gives you access to receive that mantle. I have seen the blessing work. I know it works. Hallelujah. Now, we have to be very fast. There are several overflows. And please, I need you to cooperate with all the people leading there. We are going to be very, very fast. You will come, pick the cup and the wafers and drop it if there's anyone under the anointing ushers please as they fall under the anointing shift them away so that we can hurry up on this we have just about 10 or so minutes to do this because we need to prophesy something must come upon your life hallelujah immediately after that please prepare while worship is going on we'll raise high, high praise for two to five minutes and then we'll burn those things and we'll speak father in the name of Jesus, this is ordinary wafers. I stretch my hands over this and the ones outside in all of the overflows, one, two, three, outside down to the roadside. Let this lose its earthly significance as wafers and wine. I pray the Bible says in Hosea chapter 12, it says, I have multiplied visions. I have spoken to you through the prophets. He said, I have used similitudes. May the power of the highest, the power that is responsible for performance, come upon these wafers, come upon this wine, in the name of Jesus, that everyone who partakes by faith, may they step into a strange order of the blessing, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the 
communion everyone including children if you can give them please give it to them god bless you can we help? we have to be very fast please very fast just pick one and then make your way very quickly break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain there is power there is power There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. What's happening there? Why the delay? Please stand back. Let our parents come. You are just watching. You should direct them, please. Break every chain. 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 There's an army. There's an army rising. There's an army. Break every chain. 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 Casting crowns, lifting hands, lifting arms. What I've come to do. I'd like you to begin to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues for what is coming upon you. Pray in tongues in the spirit. Go ahead and begin to pray as you return back to your seat. Please, we have to be fast. Just pick the wine, the bread, and then you can give way for others. There is an anointing upon it. Please, as you walk, just come out very fast. We have to be very fast. Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been, you are glorious, faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward, you are glorious, my God.
Please pray and say, Lord, something must land upon my life tonight. An anointing must come upon me. An unction from the Holy One must swallow up every challenge in my life. Pray like a believer that you are. Pray like a believer that you are. You are able to change the stories of men, oh God. You are able to change the stories of men. Communion is yet to come. Just be patient and pray. You can take the bread and just be patient. Please, if the welfare need help, can we have some hands to help them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command the gates that hold the next level of my life be open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray from your heart. Command the gates. The gates kapa superadaba, zikete kete pras karababa, supere kuto supere dis kalaba, brands kapa rato shoto prete kete. Gates be open, be open, be open, be open. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every cause of hardship. My family. My loved ones. By the mystery of the blood. I bring it to an end right now. Lift your foot and begin to pray. The cause of hardship. The cause of pain. The cause of sorrow. The cause of pain. The cause of sorrow. Loved ones. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. By the power of we bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. By the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. To knowingly or knowingly, it is responsible for the failure in my life. To the blood, I declare this proof. Come on, every covenant, every offense of darkness that I've been involved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to take authority over every sickness. Every strange manifestation in your body. The Bible says your body, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Every tree that has not been planted by my father tonight the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus no sickness HIV must live Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the sound of padlocks. That's what I'm hearing in my ears. Please, I'd like you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you. Inside and outside. We have prayed. 
The number eight stands for new beginning. It must leave you. Everything that has not been by the ordinances of heaven, it must leave you right now. Lift your hands as I pray for you. I tell you, the fire of God will fall in this place. Please shift all these things. Our time is almost up, but we must deal with these things. When I finish praying at the count of three, I'd like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. I hear sounds like an opening of a padlock. This apostolic anointing, every gate, every altar, every destiny, every family, Hallelujah. I see at least 30 ladies, 30, 30 sisters, strange things that come to you in the night as you sleep. Right now, as I begin to pray, the fire will begin to set you free. Right now, look, 30 of them, at least they are fighting. entity. falling i see god doing a lot of things with ladies ladies especially ladies sisters sisters strange spirits that oppress the destinies of people strange spirits that tie down people sisters at the count of three as you shout jesus i see the hallelujah please lift your hands the lord is showing me the cause of death over certain families i see at least 13 families it's like a mantle people die strangely keep your hands lifted i'm about to pray right now father
Alleluia. Lift your hands. Just stand outside. Lift your hands. I see an angel of the Lord coming outside. I want you to shout that name Jesus at the count of three. I'm seeing chains of people's foot outside. Chains. And the to release you to, to live. I'm three. find them hallelujah I want to pray for you this is an impartation now this is not deliverance this is going to come mighty on many of us listen there is an anointing that makes men succeed you have prayed there is an anointing that makes men succeed bring this gentleman this is madness that's what I'm saying. Leave him right now. I command you. You must go. Right now. And never return. Restore the fortunes of his family. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For there is a name that is above every other name. Let him go free in the name of Jesus. Please. If you miss this, you have wasted your fast. This is the time I want you to open up your heart. We have to suspend the number. Help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. We have to suspend the number of things right now. Because we are supposed to be praying on the request. I don't want to keep us too long here. But you have to receive this. There is an empowerment that can change a man's life. Please listen. Hear me when I tell you there is an anointing that can change a man. It's not by might. It's not by power. I want you to receive this with all your heart. There will be a mighty impartation. Lift your hands. Father, there is nothing I have that did not come from you. Your people have fasted. They have prayed. It's time for them to enter on usual levels of accomplishments. I stand upon this election of grace. According to the measure of the gift of Christ in my life. At the count of three let the heavens be open and let there be strange impartations For the heads of department please where are you quickly just come up here there is an anointing upon me don't stop don't stop be sensitive please in the name of jesus you will step into strange levels of grace join them it's not by might it's not by power in the name of jesus greater fire greater grace step into new dimensions of wisdom fire in the name of jesus drink of the of the spirit greater levels greater fire in the name of jesus greater fire can i pray for you a new level of what 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 said the spirit of God. i bring you to a new level a new dimension of what and grace in the name of jesus please lift your hands i pray for you they are not seen to pray is going to hit some of you like a tornado my god 
stand says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren I pray for you I see a fresh unction for some history. Hold your hands. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the instrumentals to everybody. Right now, that fire comes on you. One by one, as I stroke my hands. to you everything that was lost shall be returned to you everything that was stolen shall be restored to you everything that was lost hallelujah Ralph lift your hands there is a mantle of success coming upon you right now Take it right now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you are a military man you are a pastor but God is about to distinguish you. I see a connection with generals. Generals in the army. The Lord is saying that's what he's doing for you. He will do it by his spirit. He will do it by his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are they? Okay, come Victor quickly. Yerima, come quickly. Okay, they are the heads of departments left. He will step into new levels. It's not by power. It's not by might step into that strange dimension of the spirit right now in the name of jesus new dimensions of creativity new dimensions of power new dimensions of power i pray for those who are students here hallelujah everyone here marked for death marked for death pastor Femi the Lord is visiting your family I see an altar of fire that's what I'm seeing an altar this altar has tied down your family I'm seeing particularly your father your father this altar has tied him down tied him down nothing he does prospers but the Lord is saying I'm changing it I'm changing it. Listen, I don't care what you have lost in the name that is above all names. I pray for you. Pursue. Oh. 
woman here nine months from now return with your miracle children every important man here return with your miracle children hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done I want to release this unction of favor. There is an anointing for favor. Please believe me. You argue this life will punish you in a serious way. There is an anointing for favor. He said, I will lose the loins of kings. You will suck the breast of kings. That's what the Bible says. Lord, I pray the mysterious anointing upon this ministry that commands unusual favor. I pray for you wherever you are like fire it comes upon you right now take it take it take it right now receive it receive it inside hallelujah now I want to release the blessing my life is a product of the blessing it's an operation of the spirit that attracts people that's what is responsible for this crowd you're seeing I cannot fully explain it but I know that is dangerously mysterious it's an anointing that gives you access uncommon access I have met kings I have met politicians I have met noble men I have met billionaires I have met strange men brothers and sisters I will lie to you if I tell you it's just because my name is Joshua Selman there is such an anointing I want to release it upon you it's called the blessing I pray for you Shikapatita my god and my king i stand upon my bare foot tonight in the name that is above all names as touching this anointing god has given me at the count of three Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. In one minute. I like us to pray for all our elderly ones who have come to honor us from the depth of your heart prophesy upon them pray for our mothers our fathers scattered all over here in one minute lord we multiply your grace Sorry, we may not have time to do all of that. Our time is gone. We are very, very late. But I want to pray here. Exodus 16, 16 14, 14. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. When 
they got to the Red Sea, listen, the Egyptians were behind, coming with fury and anger. Before them, the Red Sea, and they were afraid. And Moses said, fear not. He says, stand still, and you will see the salvation of the Lord. He said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. I pray for you. Every challenge you wrote before God of Israel, I come tonight in the form of the book as it has been written. That challenge, sin no more Sin no more Sin no more We will go to the challenges. hallelujah I pray for your expectations tonight is the night of manifestation if you have it lift it up if you don't lift if you don't have it lift your hands please the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld its glory father I pray from the realm of the spirit there is a mystery of manifestation he said the spirit and the bride says come come to us the spirit and the word materializes things every please if you are holding even if it's for your loved ones don't worry just lift it to god i'm praying these expectations between now and the end of this month we turn them into testimonies Listen, your eyes have seen them, your ears have heard them. Now I command your hands to handle them. I command your hands to handle them. By the mystery of divine supply, there was a raven that brought food for Elijah at Brook Cherry. I don't care what needs to be done for these expectations to materialize, the power to make it happen. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Whether you are standing, whether you are at the window, whether you are everywhere following online, just go ahead and connect. Don't allow the little inconveniences to distract you. It's a very serious prayer. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Lord, increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Comfort me increase my greatness for the sake of my family members increase my greatness for the sake of the gospel increase my greatness for the sake of the ministry the church you have committed increase my greatness for the sake of the lost souls millions billions of them increase my greatness for the sake of having your purposes preserved within a territory hallelujah praise the lord are we blessed let me just talk about one key there are many but for tonight just to add to what i've shared just one key that can help us grow in greatness greatness is a system remember that the kingdom of god operates on mysteries and systems say after me mysteries say after me systems the kingdom of god is systemic god never does the same thing twice when he does a thing once he creates a system around it for continuity are we together he never created the plants and the animals twice he did it once and put a seed in it for reproduction he made one man one woman never to make another one again are we together there is a system so if your life is to excel it must be built on systems if your life is built on miracles as much as you are going to receive them miracles are a sign that something went wrong and the sovereignty of god is intervening to correct we were never designed to live off miracles listen very carefully if you live off miracles you will live a frustrated life we live off principles we live off the systems of the kingdom the systems of God create predictability. They are an attestation to his justice. The Bible says righteousness and justice 
are the foundations of his throne never mistake a miracle to mean that's how god wants it to continue a miracle is a stepping in of god to correct something that shouldn't be you are working properly when your life is systemic are we together first corinthians chapter 4 please give us verse 1 and verse 2 let's talk about just one key here faithfulness say after me faithfulness second corinthians chapter 4 it says let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ paul is speaking now and stewards paul uses a very interesting language not not owners he calls them stewards the word steward is the word caretaker caretakers of the mysteries of god number two it says moreover it is required in stewards if it is true that you are a steward there is a requirement and it says moreover it is required in stewards that a man whoever says he is a steward must exhibit a character called faithfulness faithfulness it says must be found faithful there are many people who may never rise beyond their current levels of influence, their current financial level, their levels of the anointing of revelation because they have other things but they lack this quality, faithfulness. In the kingdom, you grow. It looks simple, but write it. In the kingdom, you grow. And Jesus grew in wisdom jesus grew in stature jesus grew in favor with god and with men we live in a time where we admire people's results every time we see uncommon results whether in the area of the anointing the demonstration of the spirit revelations influence etc every time we see that people are stepping into unusual levels of grace we don't admire the process we rather admire the results hallelujah i see people come to me and i know they are well-meaning and they just kneel down and say it's a double portion of your anointing and i said look at what this guy is asking are we together it looks like a very that's why some of you came here probably to get a double portion the mother of james and john came to jesus and said jesus i have a request on behalf of my two sons you've been seeing them you've, you've you see how faithful they have been in your ministry would you grant because the way you are going you are going to overthrow caesar would you grant that when all is said and done let my kids sit at your left and right and jesus looked at her he never said it's an impossible request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism two things one works internally the other one works externally but both must happen to qualify you the seat is vacant but can you drink this one is not a gift it's a reward are we together now one of the requirements is faithfulness there are pastors who will never rise beyond certain membership barrier because they are not faithful god gives you three members you look at them and feel they are not relevant at all are we together oh these members are not serious you are three all of you are broke none of you is smart none of you is working i'm the one who pays your transport what kind of useless membership is this and god is watching and then you admire another church with choice uh what do we call it choice membership this one is working in oil company i said these, these are the kind of members and we we have the effrontery to go back to the secret place and cry that god will find a way of drawing those people from that church to bring it to our church and god says look at this the kind of believers that are being produced within this region no understanding it is required in stewards in men of god in business people in young people in students in whatever dimension of life that you be faithful listen very carefully be faithful be faithful never follow a man who does not have a track record of growth you are only wasting your time no matter how flamboyant the results are it's a mirage 
anybody who stumbles into financial prosperity is joking is joking i repeat is joking anybody who just stumbles into the anointing is still joking anybody who stumbles into revelation is joking there must be a track record in life your track record is what gives value to your current stature faithfulness here's what jesus has to say about this luke chapter 16 please give us verse 10 to 12. jesus is teaching here luke chapter 16 10 to 12. he says he that is faithful listen now jesus is teaching here it was the the parable of of the unjust servant whose master was about to banish him and he went to reduce the bills for several people so that when he was banished he would now rush to them and jesus is using the opportunity to teach us something here that he that is faithful in that which is least is what he didn't say will be is already i can know whether you qualify for your next level in life by what you are doing with the current level is faithful also in much and he that is unjust please go back to verse 10 he that is unjust in the least is also unjust in much next verse 11 if therefore ye have not been faithful he's speaking in the context of resources now in unrighteous mammon your naira and cobble he says who will commit to you the true riches you know what the true riches are things that money cannot buy but can buy money true riches money itself is a commodity there is something that buys it true riches are you getting what i'm saying now in our world today if you have money you can buy everything but god is saying that money itself like you sell phones money is a product too there is something that can buy it it's called true riches so when god tests you let me tell you what this is saying let me use um let me bring out a thousand naira look at this this is one thousand naira do you know god can arrange favor come pastor femi i can see him already warming up to be a very can i mean look at the see how sharp he's looking praise the lord now watch this do you know that in your walk with god a time can come god can just open a door for you hundred thousand comes you are not rich this is unrighteous mammon he's testing you you are rich when he gives you what can buy this you are not rich if you have this 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 is nonsense anything can happen set this on fire you can't pack the ashes to court and say this was one thousand true riches is what can buy this product not shoe buy this this one so he's watching you and he gives you this and you are not faithful in it you misuse it you waste it the kingdom does not benefit from it he says no there is an anointing i can give you that will bring this you have not qualified i tested you with this and you failed are we together god can bring a relationship come god can bring a relationship to your life that you know you didn't even qualify for it is a test you misuse that relationship you take advantage of the people and you don't even max you don't value them and then all of a sudden you cannot be given the true riches that can buy greater relationships faithfulness is a powerful spiritual quality powerful spiritual quality many people are not faithful that's why they pray they fast oh god dry fast seven days 40 days lord give me more anointing give me this give me that and then one day god leads you to one old woman and god says take care of this woman your destiny is to walk in the healing ministry but he won't start by giving you the healing anointing he will start by creating compassion in you take care of this old woman and say oh god this old woman how much will i get from this woman i need something that i will shine so that from that shining to be on youtube 
and then it will be on all the social media platforms and up I go and God says you see that there's no faithfulness and while that is happening God is watching one young lady somewhere taking care of the woman mama are you okay and she's she's writing her promotion exams through faithfulness she may not know but she's walking herself to a realm of the anointing one day she'll finish taking care of that woman and say father thank you for the privilege my mother was never alive for me to be able to take care of her but thank you for giving me such an old woman and the heavens are open over that young lady a strange anointing comes upon her two years later that lady is walking in a dimension of the healing anointing that nobody can explain and people criticize where did this girl come from from nowhere i've told you there's nobody that comes out from nowhere that you are not aware of the training does not mean they were not trained there is nobody that comes out of nowhere it's a lie when you are in the cave of adulam it's a lonely place when you manifest people say aha this person is lucky no there's no luck in this thing is god speaking to us many of us god trusted us with finances we were not faithful many of us today if i tell you lift your prayer request now you will see prayer point one breakthrough prayer point two financial rest prayer point three financial favor it's still the same thing you are writing just different versions so that however god wants to answer it he should just answer it are we together lord increase in membership did you know while i was praying i was already set to come the rain started all i was doing i i found tears coming out of my eyes because i was thinking i said my god my god this these people now how 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 do we manage these people but many of you ah, they've come let them come you know you are the superstar when you think like that you will never rise don't forget that men may not know while you are looking at this but there is a God who has the all-seeing eye that looks at you and knows that this man of God should not rise. Are we together? Many of us want resources. As I've lifted this 1,000 now, many of you have been looking at it. You are not even hearing me again. Listen. You are not faithful if you are faithful is proof that you are a steward can god give you this and say let me have it back and you say lord it's yours it's proof of faithfulness lord after all it came from you i i you took me from nowhere soaking gary if you have given me this if you make a demand it goes there are many of you once your hands hold it it's only a need a secular need that will release it the voice of god has no right to make you release this and then you want lots of it and we keep joking that we are having dreams and seeing god is not stupid this system is very orderly once your heart is not with god you won't find anything are we together i've shared this story here once upon a time in this area then nobody knew me nobody i was invited to go and minister somewhere and just like it rained very heavily tonight i had prepared fasted prepared to go there and then the rain started and the people were expecting me and that time there was no protocol to come put umbrella etc all of these formalities that was how i i rolled my sleeves rolled my trouser and held my bible i started praying in tongues in the rain lord don't mind me being soaked just bless your people if your people are blessed i am satisfied are we together now i remember going there and then to make matters worse the church didn't even make arrangement for umbrella to receive me it was then steve strings who saw me from outside and collected he was also invited he collected an umbrella to run go and receive me outside when i came in they asked me to wait they had to shift some people in front to create space for me to come and sit down it looked painful it looked ego stinging but it was a test of faithfulness can you be faithful even when your reputation is being insulted 
not everybody will insult your reputation keep forbearing with those who don't value you then you will qualify for those who can value you there are some of you today you will go to minister somewhere they will disrespect you some of you are intelligent business people surrounded by those who have no value keep at what you are doing you will come to a point where god will bring you to people who can recognize the grace you carry and my goodness happy are you when you enter that season in your life where you are surrounded by those who have a recognition of what you carry and will be willing to bless my life was not always like this this ministry was not always like this the first crusade you see crowds everywhere and we're happy many of you who follow me on facebook or follow follow the ministry uh, on facebook and follow what we are doing and you know all the crowds and the things that happen when every time i travel many people just see it and think it's just because he's anointed it's not just because i'm anointed with all humility what you are seeing is a product of many years of faithfulness i've shared with you our first crusade it never you see the secrets of men are in their stories don't just hear the story discern the message are we together i told you about our first crusade i think we're about 20 or so the entire crusade ground i'm not sure we're up to 50 the first crusade we prayed fasted organized when it was time to pray for the sick the whole team had the opportunity one on one it was a test of faithfulness many of us do not want to start small as a student you want to wear the same cloth with a bank manager and so you open your gate wide for a devourer to come and rubbish your life and keep punishing you are we together there are men of god who start in ministry everybody they see is their colleague take it easy move gradually no i'm anointed if not because of condition don't i have a better revelation than kenny and god keeps you there say stay there i just caught a new revelation there's nobody to hear you because there is no track record you can look at a pastor who doesn't seem to have any serious revelation and wonder why God keeps him there. Faithfulness. All he may say is God bless you. God lift you. God anoint you. And then you are there in your pride and arrogance. I just finished pieces in the book of Ephesians and you remain there for many years. Is God speaking to us? Never be ashamed of the track record of faithfulness lord this is the level of grace that you have given me i am happy i am proud of it lord you have given me the anointing to clean chairs i know that you have called me to be an apostle to the nations but in this season my assignment is to clean chairs i receive the grace to do it faithfully not just to clean chairs and say kai oh god if not just people me cleaning chairs and god says that's it you see that and you'll never rise everybody say faithfulness say it again faithfulness Matthew chapter 25 we're going to read three verses 21 23 and 29 thank you Matthew 25 we're reading 21 23 and we're reading 29 I just want to show you something and then we'll begin to pray this was the parable of the talents five two and one talent and this to the one who had five his lord said unto him after being faithful he said well done good and what faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things let me show you how greatness happens in the kingdom thou has been faithful over a few things what's your reward i will make thee ruler over many things when you are promoted in the kingdom many things happen to you one the anointing upon your life is multiplied number two your operation becomes easy number three god expands your self-influence to cause more people to hear your voice is a product of faithfulness you have been faithful over a few things i gave you a teaching anointing and i did not give you an anointing for miracles and you were not ashamed to teach the people as best as you knew to every time they ask you man of god why is it that we don't see miracles in your life be patient 
I'm coming. I'm not ashamed to say God is bringing me there. For now is the teaching grace he has given me. I will teach. I will make Bible study notes. And God is saying, this is a man who will not only be a good shepherd, he will be a good manager of my anointing. And one day, that man comes to a meeting and all of a sudden an impartation comes upon him. The dimension that has been absent is now supplied by the Spirit. He goes back not just as a teacher, but as a worker of miracles. 23. To the man with the two talents, he said, His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Same thing. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. So it's not the size of what you were given. The same commendation. I will make thee ruler over many things. Let's go to 29. 29. For unto everyone that hath. This is a mystery in the kingdom. That when you have. It's a sign that you were a good manager. And the reward is that he shall have what? Abundance of anything. Abundance here doesn't just talk of finance. Abundance of the anointing. Abundance of influence. Abundance of access to revelations. And then it says. But from him that hath. And is not faithful now. He says, even that which he had shall be taken away. It is not only Satan that takes things away. God too takes things away. Are we together now? Not every reduction is caused by demons. There are reductions that are a testimony. It's a report card from God to you that something is wrong with your stewardship. When God increases you, members rise today and mysteriously members just go down. Sometimes it could be that it's a message from God that I trusted you with 30 people and I observed your stewardship. Your stewardship does not merit multiplication. You rise in finances and then sometimes you just go down never to rise again. It could be a message that you need to upgrade on your stewardship. You rise in influence and all of a sudden you find out within a season all your helpers are no longer there. All the people whose voice, who, who listen to your voice and acknowledge your voice are no longer there. It could be a sign that you are abusing the privilege of stewardship. Are we together? The prayer that you need to pray in this season is for God to help you that whilst you are waiting for a supply of greater dimensions of his grace but that he grants you the fortitude to be faithful if God gives you 10 naira be faithful if God gives you one shoe polish it don't sit down running your eyes on every shoe and say don't worry except God is not my God I'm coming and and that shoe will say you are not coming this is not how to get me you get me by washing the one you have it's a rubber shoe, wash it. It's a 200 naira trouser, wash it. Are we together now? We live in a society that applauds people for living a fake life. That claps for people for jumping seasons. And as soon as they clap for you, and as frequent as they clap for you, that's the same way they will clap against you. Because every time you jump up you must go down but when you grow up you remain up the difference between jumping and growing is that you are still connected to your root when you jump you are suspended nothing backs you no support so you must come down when you grow up the tallest building in the world is still connected to the earth that's why it stands nothing suspended has an a, a, the ability to stay indefinitely when they send satellites to orbit the earth and orbit other planets and all of that after a time requirement because they are not connected to the earth they must be sent back planes don't fly indefinitely in the sky they get to a point where they must make contact with the earth again for some of you here this is your miracle service tonight the Lord is speaking to you. You are living a fake life. Go back to the basics. Let me tell you this. 
don't ever generalize success just because everybody around you is successful does not mean you are successful go back and learn the principles corporate success is deception are you hearing what i'm saying now we are all successful a day will come life will separate you and you stand as an individual and it will be a test of your values whether or not it's like a defense the way students do defense you will need to defend and validate your success any door god has not opened for me i'm not under pressure to go because when he opens it he will open it in honor do you know if god does not open a door your tenacity can force that door to open that you forced a door and it opened a man can go around with complimentary cards i'm a man of god i'm a gospel artist in fact you've not had anything like you just invite me and watch what happens you can go around and out of the 1000 invitations you beg for you may get one or two or three or four and you call it increase you see when you open the door by yourself you have to keep it open by yourself but when god opens it god when he opens it he keeps it by his own hand the hands that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be afraid there is a hand that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be hallelujah years ago i had a conversation we're about to pray with a gentleman and he asked me a very honest question he said apostle I've come for koinonia and i've seen the crowds of people and he asked a question he said can you reproduce these results and i said that's not me to answer you are asking time not me keep watching and i think two weeks ago he sent me a text you know just joking i'm, I'm just saying it and he's just sent a text and he said apostle you are dangerous i say i'm not dangerous the laws of god are dangerous it is not me it is the laws of God whoever will keep these truths it will work for you are you getting what I'm saying even if you are afraid of yourself trust his laws and watch them shock you and make a wonder out of your life brothers and sisters listen to me in a few minutes now we're going to begin to pray and many of you will stand and watch your life change as if it's magic it is not just because a man who is anointed is standing before you there is a system in the kingdom we make our boast first in the lord and then in the power of his might his might the power of his might the power that is released when his laws operate those who don't understand will look at these things and think it's boasting it's not boasting it's true the predictability of god's principles hallelujah i challenge you today that much more than the miracles you are receiving you must trust god to go back and say lord teach me your ways we reign in this kingdom we're about to pray now i want to show you a very dangerous scripture that god opened my eyes to brothers and sisters if god does not open your eyes to see how a thing works you may never know do you know that in every challenge that you have right now a way of escape is there but it takes god to open your eyes psalm 77 turn there let me show you something psalm 77 and verse 19 psalm 77 verse 19 give us from amplified if it's possible lion of judah my trust is in you alpha and omega my trust is in you i am that i am my trust is in you tonight i put them on you my trust is in you it says your way 
in delivering your people was through the sea listen carefully the same sea that was an obstacle he said their way of escape was inside that water inside that trouble it says and your paths through the great waters how can you be in trouble and god says in that trouble that's where your answer is but it takes your eyes to see it god hides a formula in your pain and keeps it there until revelation opens you to it it says your way of delivering your people was through the sea the same sea he said that your paths through the water yet you pass through it and cover it and nobody can trace your footsteps this one give us king james again it will take revelation for you to know how can i look at a water challenges and great waters he said thy way is in the sea in that rain challenge it's a formula that can make you a landlord but it will take the spirit of revelation in that sickness that brought you to koinonia is hidden a mystery that can bring you into the healing anointing he says thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known god what kind of god are you you do something and cover it so no man can just look and say ah I... but when he opens your eyes all of a sudden you will discover that so the water can part i never knew and all of a sudden there will be dry ground and you walk to it and the egyptians will think and god will cover it and say i don't open it for everybody it is a way but not for everybody are we together these are some of the deep mysteries about the anointing sometimes you see me give you instructions that don't make sense shout jesus keep quiet it does you will try it and it won't work it's a mystery there is a way in it there is a pathway that when god opens your eyes to the systems of the kingdom then you can see things that don't make sense and make wonders out of them god is speaking to someone here that the prayer you are praying the answer is already within your environment all it takes is for your eyes to see Hagar was punished by Sarah. The Bible says she was in the wilderness dying of test. The young lad cried to heaven. When an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw an oasis bringing water. The water was there, but her eyes could not see. The ways of God. And let me tell you, this is why we come to, how, to the house of God. Because there is something about the corporate gathering of God. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Go ahead and read. Thy ways, O God, where is it? Is found in your sanctuary. When we come here, it says in your sanctuary, in your house, you have, you have ordained a place that when we meet, you will show us a way. When God put this miracle service and called this ministry and put all of these things, it's not just a ritual. There is a mystery about the sanctuary he has ordained. That every time you come before God, he must open a way. So don't carry your challenges and come and you are wondering and say, I went to every church. I don't know what the church you went to believe. But in this sanctuary, there is a way there is a way i dare to tell you there is a way man of god i have been in i've gone everywhere with all due respect i don't know where you went to but there is a way in the sanctuary solomon dedicated a place and said lord let me tie a covenant to this sanctuary if any man prays and turns this direction not for the sake of their faith for the covenant in this place answer them when they were about to kill daniel in the days of that of, of nebuchadnezzar daniel opened the gate and faced jerusalem he, he was afraid he couldn't depend on his faith he opened the door and said lord i engage the covenant that covenant that solomon made with the temple in jerusalem it is not only a man that can bring miracles a place can be anointed to birth miracles it was in a place that jacob went to sleep 
he never met a man but he met a place and that night the heavens were open and he saw a ladder that connected the heavens he said this is the house of God this is the gates of heaven tonight I want to stir up faith many of you have come you have made sacrifices Pastor Femi thank you thank you so so much praise the Lord many of you have come from several places you have made sacrifices please don't come here wasting your time and don't come here wondering let's see what God will do already I can answer you you won't get anything already let me let me be honest with you because God is not a magician but there are people that come here determined and say Lord I have seen you in this place I can't go back this way that something must shift in my life something must change in my life not all of you may be trusting God for sickness for healing you know but many of us are trusting God for one thing or the other I like you to believe there is a way in the sea I bring you a word there is a way this kingdom operates by mysteries the Bible says there is no temptation given but that which is common to man you are not the first to have house rent issue you are not the first to have financial issues listen carefully you are not the first to have academic issues you are not the first to have excuse me spiritual issues you are not the first but though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. That's a part of this song I like. Though we are few, there are witnesses. There are people who have been healed. There are people who God changed their lives overnight. There may not be many, but they are on earth, testifiers of His faithfulness. As a testament that if God did it before, he can do it again and this is the song we'll be singing forever oh, is the Lord. Oh, is the Lord. listen it is our confidence in God and our confidence in his ways that gives us the audacity to gather people and say come he will change you without the presence of God and access to the ways of God we are we are scammers we are not even we are not just liars we are scammers why do you gather people and tell them come we dare you to come we call a solemn assembly not only because we know God by the privilege of his grace we have found grace with him and he has made us stewards of the mysteries Ephesians chapter 3 this will be the last scripture Ephesians chapter 3 verse 2 from verse 2 it says if ye have heard Paul is speaking of the dispensation of grace of the grace of God which is given me to you Lord, for your sake how that by revelation verse 3 he made known unto me how did Paul know it by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when you read another word is whereby when you experience it you may know the basis he may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ verse 5 a mystery that has been hidden in other ages let me tell you some of the things we are doing although they are spiritual although they are biblical they are mysteries that have been hidden they are there the same way many people swam through the Red Sea although there was a way it took a generation of men to be open to that mystery there are many mysteries that control results that have not been routed by many but the Bible says that in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets how by the Spirit by the Spirit it was a revelation that God gave me that people write their requests and come and drop here it's not something that I copied from anywhere 
is a revelation stupid though but look at the testimonies that have come out from it are we blessed now God's servant Bishop David Oyedeko was given the revelation of feet washing a revelation that had not been known to anybody people read it and all of a sudden the testimonies that come out of it people had communion people take communion in orthodox churches and different churches and just take it even while they are drunk but somebody came with a light about communion and all of a sudden people take communion now and cancers just die there are mysteries brothers and sisters there are many people that never knew that the house of god is powerful praise the lord are we together so you must understand that god in this season wants to shift you but you won't just shift you just by saying shift there are mysteries tonight i bring you a word there is a way in the sea hallelujah there is a way there is a way there is something god can do about your finances there's something god can do about your family situation you left fire on the mountain and came back you wait until the red sea parts and god will rubbish pharaoh tonight in your presence rise up on your feet begin to thank the lord for what you have heard tonight Cry for the grace to be faithful. Go ahead. Shalamadosi atakatosi abarash. Mandelis kanamar hasuzi anamala suzi adas. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Lord, grant me the grace to be faithful. Grant me the grace to stay as you lift me. Grant me the grace not to rush seasons in my life grant me the grace grant me the grace hallelujah just pray one prayer lord change my story visit me tonight lift your voice and pray pray with faith change my story visit me visit me tonight hallelujah tonight is an unusual service because time has gone we're going to be very very fast very very fast at that um, like I told us we're going to start praying for the sick we'll start by praying for the sick and um, now this is how we're going to do it because of because of those of you outside don't worry you don't worry wherever you are you will be attended to are we together you will be attended to so hold on before i ask the people to come you don't have to just cooperate with the ushers if they need you to do anything just just it's a temporary inconvenience we're doing this just to be able to manage time and to do all that we have to do hallelujah praise the lord now please hold on let's let's not be distracted those of us who are trusting God for healing is a miracle service it's not just limited to healing but we're going to pray for the sick now now we're going to do this very fast and um, please those that will be ministering let's let's do it very fast it's not in how long listen let me tell you something about the anointing it's not just in how long you are touched or the frequency just a touch is enough for the anointing the same way a small drug can step into your body and that's it the wonders are done i'd like you to believe god to touch you change your life whether it's a blood disease whatever it is let's agree with you hallelujah we'll do that very very fast while we are doing that please um if you 
have come with your requests ushers um please help them pr department you can join them protocol let's just join and see how we can make this very fast so that at the same time we are collecting the prayer requests remember it's not a ritual um when it's time when they come to you you can hand over the request if you are yet to write yours you can quickly do that those online following us from whatever nation you can just connect your requests are already there and we're praying the power of god will touch it there too hallelujah praise the lord please i like you to be very intentional i know that most times we do this at the miracle services but be careful lest you make a ritual out of this and then at the same time waste your time i have seen the power and the glory of god um, upon my life and upon this ministry in in ways that that are humbling in ways that are powerful expect a testimony please refuse that you're not going back the way you came no matter what the medical situation is remember i told you there is a way in the sea there is a way hallelujah when i do that um we'll finish it and then we can now minister deliverance and just prophesy so that we are able to make time praise the lord father we are gathered tonight by your wisdom and your power lord we're about to minister to those who are sick and lord we trust your power to heal we trust your power to heal to the uttermost in the name of jesus anoint my hands anoint every man and woman of god who will be ministering to the sick let there be the hearing of faith let there be the walking of miracles do this and glorify yourself in the name of jesus christ praise the lord uh, father we give you all the praise let your power flow let miracles begin in this place we give you all the praise we give you all the honor in the name of jesus christ i pray amen please make sure that while you submit your prayer request be in the attitude of prayer if i were you i'll be praying in the spirit don't be distracted just because we're taking our time to pray for the sea god bless you Deserve the glory and the honor. So we lift our hearts and worship as we bless your holy name. Yes, you deserve the glory. Yeah. The honor. Yes, Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. Yes, there is no one else. There is no one else like you Yes, you are great And you do miracles so great Oh, there is no one else like you Oh, there is no one else like you Sing, you deserve the glory. Say, you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, and the honor. So we lift our hands, so we lift our hands and worship as we praise. As we praise oh, 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 yes, you deserve the glory. why we worship tonight so we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name give you your You are great. 
sing, there is no one else, Lord. There is no
Jesus. Take a place. Let there be on the day. Oh 
and say after me in the name of Jesus. We are praying now, please. We are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every force from the pit of hell standing against my lifting tonight I challenge you lift your voice and begin to pray everyone lift your voice and begin to pray every force every force nothing will stop your lifting this is a season of lifting in the name of Jesus Every circle shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Say in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern in my life right now, I declare you destroyed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Challenge every recurrent pattern by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every recurrent pattern in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern. Papo Sabalaka to Pashabren Legadea. In the name of Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace apportioned for me tonight. I declare that I must step into it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension. Every dimension. Make sure you are praying every dimension, every dimension, every dimension. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, let your fire fall upon my life, upon my family, and destroy every planting that is not of God lift your voice and pray let your fire the visitation of your fire the visitation of your fire upon my life upon my life pray Let your fire fall upon my life. Let your fire bring a separation. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray for you now. We are never doing the same thing every time I rebuke devils. There are lives and destinies 
that are under the yokes of darkness it's time for the devil to give up are we together are you ready to shout that name that is above all names let me tell you i want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder working power of god in your life at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time i'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire, the fire of the Spirit. Bring them up, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, every altar and everything, every high thing that is not of God, I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. Shuketeko Satavali Akatosh. hallelujah i think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of jesus i'm praying now i'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i'm seeing i'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up lord where are they i stretch my hands may the visitation of fire Open destinies now. Shake it to katakata. Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Inside, outside. Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a horn and I'm seeing fire burning it. Please be sensitive. This is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families. He said in Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18, What yes thou? He said four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, so that no man does lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. Lift your heads. I'm praying right now. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is falling on people inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, anyone here, Shabo Sekatos Kabariakata, under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the Lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah, i tell you all i see is just fire that's what i'm seeing every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now by 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one I'm seeing three people I'm praying now I know because of time we can't let you come in but I'm seeing three people two are ladies one is a gentleman this prayer is for you there is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming overflow one on people outside the Lord is bringing massive deliverance barrenness is a dangerous thing listen whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time because it cannot grow it cannot multiply Jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of Jesus I'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that Satan has rendered barren I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree and declare be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness hallelujah Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi. Um, I may not, maybe I may just talk to one or two people. Kemi, you are wearing red. It's like, it's a guy called Kemi. Who is that? You are wearing red. What's your name? Uh -uh, I didn't, I'm saying, this is, I'm saying, I know that Kemi is a lady's name. It's not a guy. I will pray for you. It's your hunger. This is, you are wearing red. What's your name? Your name is Kemi. Yes, sir. You are wearing red. I'll pray for you. But gentlemen, you are here. There is a hunger that you carry. Listen, you came from ah, uh, I'm seeing Cross River. Where? Yeah? Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. You yes, came. Sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You came because of a hunger yes, sir. to truly get an anointing. Yes, but you see, this message I preached was for you. Yes, you heard what I'm saying? Yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works. The Lord Himself, He will give you an anointing, but He will give you direction. What you need is an encounter with the word and direction, but you will never go back the same. Receive that anointing. A new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of god is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of god is upon your life but tonight as a token the spirit of god is visiting you whether you know it or not lord where are they i stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of god is upon your life 
for your destiny in the area of the fivefold i declare let the anointing of the spirit locate you as it locates you the lord begins to prepare you where are they receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace hallelujah there is a dangerous spirit our time is up hold on but there is a spirit that i want to rebuke now i just saw written in the air rejection hold on many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you you stand you are watching and an opportunity come rejection is not just a state it's a spirit lift your hands don't pray don't do anything just lift your hands hallelujah that's the instruction the lord is giving me just lift your hands just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus many of you will be surprised now there are people it's like a yoke i'm seeing like cowries these cowries that they use that's what i'm seeing and in the name of jesus christ as the power of god is smashing that rubbish that's how many people who have been despised been despised the bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you it says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations right now i stretch my hands from the front to the back overflow one two three the roadside and online if there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection right now in the name of jesus in this silence may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance right now i'm praying it's happening right now taking away that spirit from your life please be sensitive we are doing a quick walk rejection 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost rejection i command that spirit to leave i'm still praying i command that spirit to leave i command that spirit to leave alongside with this there are people bad luck good things must always turn to evil when it hold, when it enters your hand no matter what it is if they give you money something must go bad a good opportunity it must be destroyed you enter a relationship something must happen i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege here at this miracle service fire 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 i release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back inside outside I command your deliverance right now i command your deliverance right now i command your deliverance right now keep your hands lifted i'm praying mighty things are happening in the spirit i asked us to pray a prayer that the lord put in my heart patterns i'm still seeing it again there are some of you the same thing happens to every member of your family at certain seasons everything must happen either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct you must have a child before you get married or something someone will rape you someone raped your mother someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout jesus lord i pray that as your people shout that name every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now hallelujah the spirit of delay god is taking delay from someone's life that's what i'm seeing god is taking delay i'm seeing it going delay 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 not everybody but i'm seeing god is it will surprise you after this miracle service the kind of speed that your life will enter 
delay hallelujah my dear come this come this is your first time here where are you coming from you're coming from abuja yes, i want to pray for you you had the prayer i just said we should pray yes. that prayer was was for you don't be embarrassed eh? there is a spirit of delay that must live your life you are a great lady but i see delay come it's a demonic spirit and if you are not delivered and you get up and go to abuja just like that it will be as if you did not come before the presence of god but i lay my hands upon your head and in the name of jesus christ the spirit of delay i call you by name let this lady go now by the anointing of the holy spirit go now live her life forever in the name of jesus that lady wearing lime cloth you this one come quickly please look at me salvation has come to your family the month of june look at me the month of june i'm prophesying by the spirit is the month for your family the lord is saying i should tell you he's changing everything everything completely by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god i'm hearing a name doris i'm hearing a name doris doris who is doris i'm hearing a name doris doris are you doris your name is doris i'm going to pray for you your name too is doris that's your baby i will pray for you look at me look at me shout jesus my dear look at me witchcraft i'm stretched the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands in front of you i stretch my hands and i declare i'm seeing an altar catching fire in the name of jesus christ i declare it by the spirit i stretch my hands that's what the lord is saying i should do i stretch my hands it catches fire now oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. From Congo, hold my hands. Say shame and reproach. Shame and reproach is taken from my life. Is taken from my life forever. Forever. Say it again. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Victory belongs to Jesus. Shame and reproach is taken from your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Shame and reproach is taken. From, hold on, I'm not done with that. I decree and declare that shame and reproach is taken from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father has not been paid for 11 years. I'm seeing, I don't know what the condition is, but I'm seeing at, at 11 years or so, your father has not been paid. It's something they have been pursuing. Please make sure you are honest with that. Come. Your dad, where is he? He's in Lagos. You too? Where is he? Do you believe that if I pray for you, a miracle will happen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we make it happen by the Spirit of the living God. I decree and declare that between now and the next 90 days, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all coming? Your parents. 
no don't I, if, if i pray most of you is not it's not that word you are just coming just because you want it may be related in the name of jesus i'm i'm just praying for you as i'm touching you you see let me let me tell you something brothers and sisters you see this touch you see this touch just this touch you see there is power in it it's just that we are very carnal people do you understand after service you can hug me and jump on me but now what is on me is what makes this touch different you see that you can you can have it is not just a touch maybe a touch for jamboree no 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 you can i can lay my hands on you right and then something can come upon you i can lay my hands upon you and then your life will change sometimes you see me just speak and you think it as as i pray like this you see watch your life and see what it becomes are, are you getting what i'm saying now that's 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 the point the word of god that you can't see it does not mean it's not resting on you when it rests on you like a hen over her, her the eggs it will stay there until there is a performance this thing you see is not just power it's authority it's authority there is authority in the spirit it's not just power it's authority are you, are you getting what i'm saying now so it is it is a grace it's a gift that god can give a man he said for i am a man under authority i say to one go it's just that many of us just sit down and we keep watching I, be, the fact that you are here within this vicinity alone let me tell you whether you are inside or outside your life will never never be the same if i never get to touch you it's just that we are carnal we are carnal so we just feel that until you make contact with the man of god your life will not no 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 no. i don't have to give you a word of knowledge the anointing that you see this anointing through words through words i can speak to you like this the word of god carries the anointing do you understand it's not just until maybe you, you make contact and lay hands and some of those things are just psychological it is the power of god as i'm speaking over your life if you believe you will be surprised are we together now yes a miracle service and we may not have all the time to minister the way we want to but this word if all i do here is to just come and speak i told you about the creative dimension of prophecy men are made by the prophetic word that is on them what is on you is what compels creation to respond to you in a certain way a man can lay hands on you and not lay anything everybody ministers according to the dimension of his grace my dear this lady looking at me come the lord is saying i should tell you what happened to queen esther in the bible will happen to you i don't know who you are but the lord is saying i should tell you that what happened to adasa queen esther in the bible i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ so brothers and sisters i like your heart to be open the if you come here and you are prayed for i lay hands on you and you miss the prophetic sessions you really miss the miracle service you see that you miss the prophetic session help is coming hold on the lord is showing me something help is coming i'm seeing help is coming that's what the spirit of god is saying help is coming help is coming help is coming it will surprise you help is coming when god says help is coming it means people are coming men are coming men are coming i'm saying it again men are coming this is a word for somebody help is coming in the name of jesus christ the lord is saying i should prophesy to someone it won't reach june it won't reach june this is what god is saying i don't even know what i'm saying listen god gave you a word god is saying you will not enter june without that miracle happening and in the name of jesus christ whoever that person is i release that word let there be a performance let there be a performance in the name of jesus christ let there be a performance i'm seeing i'm seeing a young man that came here 
you you are not based here you came from another city and there is the call of god upon your life but i'm seeing that not only is there a call of god upon your life i'm seeing that there is an anointing mm -mm, i'm not saying you should come out this is there are many people that belong don't worry the anointing will will find you there is an anointing i've not done the impartation yet but there is an anointing that is coming on that gentleman it may spill over to others but it's for one you will go back there is a revival within your territory that has been allocated to you your person in the name of jesus let the anointing of the spirit find that person now You may look ordinary, say the Spirit of God, but when my grace comes upon you, I will do wonders through your life. The Lord is saying you may look ordinary, but when my grace comes upon you. You see, the anointing of the Spirit is the maker of men. It is not about what they want to do. In the name of Jesus, whoever that gentleman is, I bring you into that grace. I bring you into that anointing by the power of the holy spirit the lord is giving somebody a kind of anointing here listen let me describe for you how it will work if you hold someone's hand and pray on an issue it is done that's how the anointing will work if at all you hold someone's hand except you don't hold the hand of the person and pray for that person whoever must carry this anointing i stretch my hands now by the spirit in the name of jesus christ may that anointing be so lavish upon your life you will see strange testimonies as you agree with people they will note you they will note you for commanding results through prayer hallelujah let's pray for finances just allow me we'll round up I, I i i apologize already in advance i will do this very fast god is already visiting his people um there is a grace for finances i will continue to pray this until i see a manifestation of what i've seen in the spirit not only are there people here who are called just people men like um, ejimi that are called into the ministry of kingdom finance there are people who may not be called into that ministry but they are kingdom financiers because of that call and anointing upon their life the holy ghost will shift them in a certain way to grant them access you may look weak you may not have one naira in your pocket but listen i want you to believe me as i pray for you lord jesus where are these people that you are speaking to me about let the grace let the unction that makes for this kind of possibility let it be released upon them in the name of jesus christ let that grace be released upon them help him help him be sensitive gentleman please you would have injured him for nothing be sensitive huh in the name of jesus that grace i called him because the lord said i should minister to him that anointing is upon him i'm still praying there are people I'm seeing like coins being dropped on the hands of people in the spirit. This is, this is it, like a token of that grace, that call. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray now. Everywhere in this congregation and outside, if you are called into this ministry, I declare, You may not look like it, but I release the grace on you may the lord align your understanding about finances may he align your understanding about business in a strange and supernatural way that will cause you to command strange abundance i declare that as a result of this prayer god will connect you to strategic individuals strategic individuals hallelujah there are people here who have please listen we're rounding up there are people here inside outside 
you have what we call the mantle of a savior you may not be the firstborn in your family but all the while a grace has been following you because you represent an altar i'm going to pray right now there are people whether you are young or old if that grace if you are the one that represents the altar of god in your family then it's time for that altar to begin to speak right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god for everyone here you represent the epicenter of the purposes of god in your family i stir up that altar i put fire upon that altar now let it begin to burn that from your secret place you begin to shift things in your family from your secret place you begin to command and manipulate realities from the realm of the spirit i make it so i declare it so in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah then i know there might be many people this may be the last personal case i'll deal with and then we'll pray there might be many people here with this case but there is a particular woman here you are barren you are a, there's a particular woman not that you are standing for someone you yourself please help them Madam, how long have you been married? 11 years. 11 years, no child. Madam, yes. how long? 7 years. 7 years. Yes. 18 years in total. You are standing here before the people of God because you believe that God can step in. You, madam? 18 years. You've Eight. been barren for how long? 18 years. 18 years. Mm. You? Yes. Madam, will you believe if I tell all three of you that according to the time of life, you will return with your children? No, 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 no. It's not amen. The question is, will you believe? Will you believe it? Madam, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jushi. Where is that? Jushi at the back of enemies. Where are you coming from, madam? You are coming from Kaduna? Yes, sir. Who is this lady? Are you married? You've been barren too? Yes, sir. You too, madam? Please, if you are not married, don't come out here. If you are coming out for... If you are, if you, if someone you are standing for, just remain there. Please remain. If you are standing for someone, I will pray. But if it is for yourself, madam, you too? Look at me. You are trusting God? How long have you been married? I've been married for like five years, but I have a child, but I've been trying for like three years now. You have a child yes, already? Sir. You yes, just sir. want another one? Yes, sir. It's alright, I'll pray for you. These ones don't have any. The devil is a liar. Madam, don't be embarrassed. You are not standing before. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You too. You too. You are trusting God. How long have you been married? Yes. Two years. No, you you had a child, you were even rejoicing, and you had a miscarriage. Yes. When? Last year. Last year. Yes. And from that time, this has affected you. Yes, I have to pray. There's something wrong with your stomach. Yes. The doctor already told you. I wouldn't say it in the open, but then this is what is killing the baby. Hold on, madam. Um, you had miscarriage, not even in tw in 2000 and. In 2014, child, uh, that's what I'm saying. You had a, they had to go and remove the baby yes. because the baby died inside pieces, your stomach. Yes. The baby pieces like yes. this inside your stomach. Yes, sir. God is going to give you a child. Amen. 
My dear, look at me, this lady. The mercy of God needs to speak for you. You, you love Jesus? You love Jesus? I'll pray for you. But you are not in need of child. What you need is mercy. The mercy of God. Many of us don't know what the mercy of God is. The mercy of God is not for sinners. The mercy of God is his dimension that causes him to veto whatever limitation it is to come to help you. So when we say mercy, it's not just because you have to be a sinner. There are certain dimensions of God that are only revealed to you at the platform of his mercy. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. I want to pray and prophesy to all of you and agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please go back and tell your various husbands that you were prayed for. I, I love men. I respect husbands. But many husbands don't love Jesus. They don't know Jesus. After their wives return like this and say, my husband, we just went for a program. They don't have what program. And they cancel out all of these things. It takes two to agree. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, madam, put your hand in your stomach. I take away this demonic thing. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus, it disappears, madam. I pray for you. The Lord opens your womb. In the name of Jesus, madam, by the grace of God, you carry your child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remove every growth from your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with your miracle. Madam, look at me. God is going to use you. Amen. You are not just going to give birth to a child. The hand of God is on your life. It doesn't look like it. But there is nothing in this life that will ever satisfy you except the service of God. You will love God and serve Him. And with this miracle God is going to give you, every other woman you pray for over the issue of the fruit of the womb, you will see that God will open up your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will arise and have mercy upon this, my precious sister. In the name of Jesus. The voice of accusation that speaks against you, I silence it by the mystery of the blood. Now go and have your child. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. It's over, my dear. Look at me. Go and prepare. You have a child now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the grace of God speak for you. Madam, I pray for you. Help her, please. It's over right now. Carry your child in Jesus' name. Please stretch your hands towards the altar and let's pray. Stretch your hands in one minute. You, for yourself, madam. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's all right, madam. No problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Um, you are trusting God for a child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's sister is going to have twins. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God will come on that person now as I'm speaking. For the sake of your sister, carrying twins. This is twins, the Lord himself. Hmm. There's one more person left. I'm hearing the voice of children, babies crying. When it stops, then I know that it's over. I'm still, hold on. I'm still hearing it. There is still one more person, family. I'm like, I'm hearing the voice of children. Lord, in the name of Jesus, wherever that family is, I pray that you locate them right now. By the spirit of the living God, you locate them right now. You locate them right now. I'm still praying. You locate them right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Stretch your hands and let's pray. Please begin to pray one minute and say, Father, whatever I have dropped here, just keep her there. I'll pray for her. That's all right. Begin to pray in the spirit and declare that whatever you have dropped here turns to your testimony. In the name of Jesus, I'm laying hands here and I'm agreeing with you. Shalakato prakato seze me hashi anakatos. Ende leketo sabragato siata kato shafranda hashi anabaladash. Impossible situations. 
Mabrakato zadia shana hasana malakato Rekete kete kebara hasosia Embrakato shala barakato skadebrende kete kalato siata Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come Mabre zagato janeke lando safria hasabadash Ingre doze deko shabarakato skiadabalash Please pray Lord turn around our captivities like the streams in the Negev in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let them say among the hidden the Lord has done great things for them the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad we sow prayers in tears and we declare that we reap in joy Lord I bow my knees to you and I cry visit your people 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 Hallelujah. This prayer you see we pray here is a very deep spiritual mystery. It's not a ritual. It's a revelation. Sometimes when I travel and I go, the Lord instructs me to do the same thing there and the amazing testimonies this for me is one of the most thorough ways of ministering to people because this is a summation of the your truest desires because you wrote them by yourself is a representation of your pain and your expectations this is you standing before god through your request and i decree and declare as i stand and step upon this request i declare rise above every challenge in the name of Jesus Christ the same way I'm stepping on this in the name of Jesus that is how you are stepping on every situation I turn every request in this place into your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ hear me some of you it will be like you are dreaming the way you will see doors open in your life in the name of jesus christ every impossible situation represented here i cry to the god who is the god of this ministry that he will arise in power and surprise you for all those who have dropped their request online in the name of jesus christ the same grace that is visiting these requests is visiting their request in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be miracles in jesus name please lift your hands everyone let me pray for you right now in the name of jesus christ listen you see every ministry let me tell you this it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true every ministry rises and stops at the spiritual level of lifting of the man of god wherever you stop spiritually as a man of god that's where the ministry rises it's impossible to lead a ministry that is higher than your own level of grace and anointing it doesn't work that way it can't work sustainably that means that when the man of god shifts in anointing and rises it means that everyone genuinely committed to that grace and that vision not based on your personal um your personal press but by the implication of connection you should also rise do, do we agree do you believe that yes i have seen the grace and the glory of god and the authority of the kingdom multiply and rise in my life this year like never before and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus right there where you are inside and outside and all those connected wherever you are spiritually i prophesy to you rise and i shift you to a new dimension i shift you to a new dimension you have walked in miracles before but in the name of Jesus, may your hand do wonders. You have taught the word accurately before. But in the name of Jesus, may your tongue from tonight become the pen of a ready writer. 
in the name of Jesus Christ you have handled some level of finances before but I shift you into figures that you have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ you have experienced favor before but I stand here in the name of Jesus and I declare a new order of favor you have had God before but I program your ears to hear deeper dimensions of the voice of God. I pray for everyone here inside and outside the mantle that causes men to be honorable may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen this ministry has never gone up and come down never not once it keeps going from glory to glory I declare let that be the definition of your life from today spiritually financially academically for those who are students I decree and declare the grace for extraordinary excellence I release upon you the grace for extraordinary excellence I release upon you anyone here trusting God for a job a noble job I stretch my hands between now and next miracle service return with your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ and anyone here due for promotion I decree and declare by the finger of God step into a new dimension of promotion the fire that is upon your altar that is the secret of your life the secret of every man's glory is the fire that burns upon his altar when nothing is burning you will just be a talkative for nothing you will read and teach and nothing will happen i pray for you in the name of jesus the mystery that preserves fire upon the altars of men let it work for you let it work for you i found the calls of your prayer life i found the calls of your spiritual life i found the calls of your word life this is a prayer many people don't desire I pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger I say it again a baptism of spiritual hunger that the Lord will expand your appetite for spiritual things every kind of arrival mentality every kind of spiritual complacency where there is no impact there is no desire to press for the deeper things of God satisfied by the little results here and there I declare that the Lord plants a fresh hunger the hunger that can take you on a three days fast just to study the word and pray in the name of Jesus Christ some of us the grace to fast has died you fast by 10 you are yawning your life away and you can't pray i pray for you now in the name of jesus the spirit of gluttony and uncontrolled lust for food i curse it from your life in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you in this strange season where god is lifting men and changing their stories as I'm praying for you I'm praying this one for myself too in the name of Jesus may you rise to a level where all those who knew you will turn and say this one is the finger of God in the name of Jesus Christ I'm calling on people who want to surrender their heart to Jesus now please everyone stand please everyone stand no move let me tell you something one of the assignments of the church is to harvest souls for the kingdom we must be passionate and desperate and intentional about souls coming to Jesus are we together there are people here who are saying apostle 
if you will lead me to Jesus I'm not too proud I'm not a rebel I can come to him genuinely please listen carefully overflow three overflow two one by the roadside and those who are following online the church is gradually becoming very very unresponsive to the need for salvation you are a man of God here take the issue of the salvation of souls seriously if you are not saving souls as a church you are this in fact is sin it's not just wrong it's not just disobedience it's sin it is important that we continue to partner with the spirit that people come to Jesus it's not just a ritual to show we are spiritual it is the only way that their lives can be salvaged first eternally and then to live a life of victory here are we together there are people here you may have been born from a Christian background a number of you love Jesus Christ but you are saying man of God I have never truly made a commitment for Jesus I have I've seen people do all this but tonight I want to make that decision some of you are saying man of God I love Jesus but I need a renewal in my life I just need a fresh touch I know that my life is not the way it used to be and I want to straighten out my ways with God if you are here and you belong to these two categories aside from overflow three I'll just request for time's sake that you move forward to the front of your projector screen overflow one overflow two the roadside and inside here I want you to come out right where I am here wherever you are God bless you quickly please we have one minute for this wherever you are Jesus is speaking to you you must be born again no one will force you but you have to win this war tonight you have to win this war tonight God bless you quickly come boldly come like one who is coming to receive an award don't come as if you are attending a funeral this is a miracle of miracles God bless you apostle what if people know me and they see me leave all those people this is the business of you and God make your way to the front quickly those coming from outside please let's clear the way for them so that they hurry up let's clear the way for them God bless you God bless you as you come quickly God bless you as you come you need Jesus please don't come out here to pretend come out genuinely from your heart you must be born again every single one of us had to pass through that process Jesus said I am the door not a door the door the door the only door every other route is a, is, is is not correct you have to follow through the door hallelujah thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for coming out to make this declaration i want you to know that this is a very noble declaration lift your right hand after me and say this passionately and truthfully say lord jesus if you're joining them please come quickly join them say lord jesus i love you say it again i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god that you died for me you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive you I receive your life I as I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life in the name of Jesus I move forward ever and backward never the grace to stay the grace to grow the grace to be useful is mine tonight in Jesus name Lord Jesus I stretch my hands towards these precious people they have come before your people making declarations making commitments to live for you to love you to serve you I pray that the grace that makes this a possibility let it be released upon their lives in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the power of sin the power of Satan is broken over your life you go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I appreciate you I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you just follow him in concert there will be a group of people to just talk to you address you very quickly and then you will be back to your seat let's appreciate the Lord for tonight Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye